welcome back to another episode of Templin Acres Adventures Weekly Recap. My name is Katie, and today is October 27th, and it's episode number six. This is my best streak of actually posting ever, if you look back in history. I'm going to do the same thing again, because that just seems to be what's working for me right now. Um, but I'm going to talk a little bit about doing some cleanup. And I've mentioned a few times that the homestead we bought was literally a junkyard. And I give kind of a glimpse of what I mean, like literal um, junkyard. So we got the old well running. And this was an area we hadn't really touched. We were making efforts to clean this up. Um, so believe it or not, but in front of the lilac bushes, this was all tarped junk. Um, that had just been here since we bought the place. Um, so we did good work getting this whole area here cleaned up, leveled off. Unfortunately, I didn't get a before photo. This is what we are still working on. Um, and we're sorting it basically through garbage, recycling, uh, metal scrap. I got a couple bags of garbage there um, that we're going to have to take and get rid of. But we've been working on this. And under here, we actually have some bins that have been sorted, but we haven't quite finished. But when I say junkyard, I mean literal junkyard that we're working through. So part of the reason it's taking us so long to get through everything is because we actually want to go through it piece by piece and not just assume everything is garbage. And we have found some, I think, pretty interesting things along the way. Um, so in our most recent cleanup this week, we came across this St. Christopher medal with a chain in the dirt, which I thought was really cool. So we're working on getting some of the tarnish out of that metal um, and getting that cleaned up um, to use. And I think it is just really cool. Monetarily, I have no idea if it actually has value um, but it has value to me, so I'm fine with that. Another thing that we came across that I thought was really cool and worth saving was a couple of cast iron pans. Now, these aren't your old collectible fancy cast iron pans. Um, both of them are probably from the same set. They're both made in Korea. Probably not that old, but they're cast iron, and they're definitely salvageable. Um, so I'm actually in the process of getting those um, cleaned up and re-seasoned for use. We did finish cleaning up the area that we knocked the shed down on, on the side of the barn. Um, we have one wall yet that hasn't been dealt with. We thought it was good enough. We might be able to find a different use for it somewhere else. Um, but with the burn ban on, that made it a little bit trickier. So we kind of worked through everything, what we could salvage, what we couldn't, um, and have it ready to be dealt with later. Um, but this area is all nice and open and level um, before the winter snows come. So at least that task has been done. So, a couple days ago, warm front came through, and I was saying how windy it was. Today, a cold front is coming through, and it is so windy. Um, I'm trying to get to the edge of the woods here. It's ridiculous. Uh, tonight, we are having branches break, and uh, had some things blown over. the cold front that came through on Tuesday brought a nice rainstorm on Thursday. Um, it never seems to rain when I want it to and even though we really really needed it I really just don't like doing chores in the rain but that's what I had to do. 
Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to lift the burn ban. Something weird that I'm sharing from this week is we had a jelly egg in the coop. I've heard about them. I have never actually seen one. So I'm hoping it's the one-off from a young layer. Um, if we keep having them, I'm definitely going to have to figure out what the issue is. But there it is. Saturday, I took a road trip up to central Minnesota for a family event. I was really surprised on the way up of how many trees still had their leaves. I'm thinking that the winds that we got on Tuesday didn't hit up here because they definitely had much better color than we did and much more um, leaves still on the trees. Um, our trees are pretty bare right now, um, but it was a beautiful drive. It was a beautiful view. We had a great time up north. And yes, it is up north for me, even though it's only central Minnesota. And I always like seeing landscape that looks different from my own. And in Minnesota, you get all types. It doesn't take very long traveling north to get much different scenery than the farmland around here. And this will be too dark when I finish up, but I'm going to add some tulips and muscari and allium and different tulips and daffodils to my lovely mound system. Um, I have been making this flowers for a few years now um, and I'm going to add some more colors. So we have daylilies on it right now, Asian lilies, peonies and pastas. Everything's pretty much dead right now because of the time of the year. But we're going to add some more flowers in here quick before dark. So I almost forgot, I have this lovely hound dog, bulb hound tool that I got for free this spring, which is fantastic. I was gonna start having Mitchell, the cameraman, dig all these holes for me, and I forgot I have this. So literally, all I have to do is step in, and I know I just said that's it, but ground's a little hard. And it has little markers on the side that show how deep I'm going. And I just have to pull it out, and that's it. I can put the ball in, and I can just do this and release the dirt. And amazing, we're done. Ta da! We did get the breeding pen separated out. I got the Nigerian and Nigerian mixes on that side, got all the alpines over here. That's my beautiful Buck Vivo. He is such a pretty boy. I love his bangs. Aren't you just so pretty? There's my Alpines. That was Oni. We got Gracie and Carla and Vivo. And these are our little ones. They do not go in any breeding pen this year. Uh, but we're keeping them just to see how they look next year. So they'll grow out here yet over the winter. They're pretty cute little boys. And Mini-Me is just starting to check everybody out. That's our new ram this year. And there's Murphy checking out. And over here we have the Songs of Love. From Mini-Me. And there's Kiki. And our turkey. And unfortunately, the stump still remains. I think we're gonna just have to just wait till the burn band's lifted and then we're gonna burn it out. So that one's just gonna have to just wait for now. And we got a motion light now on the outside of the pole shed in front of the doors. Yay to less darkness. Chicken had to steal my thunder. Thanks for watching another episode of Templin Acres Adventures Weekly Recap. If you enjoyed this and want to see more updates from our homestead, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.